it is time for entertainment news. First off, Yul Edoche to become a pastor. Nollywood actor and politician Yul Edoche might be the next celebrity to become a pastor. Now, he made this known via his Instagram page where he put up a post that read, and I quote, I was told many years ago, now the manifestations have started. Now, he explained, and I quote, back home in Lagos after my acting seminar yesterday, resting and recharging for more movements coming up. So much is happening recently that left me in awe. Now, indeed, I have a calling to serve God, a pastoral calling. Yeah. Yule Doche's recent decision, however, is not surprising as, the, as he revealed a few months ago that he had given his life to Christ after he survived a ghastly car accident. Hallelujah. Wow. wow. Hallelujah. Says town in the building. Hallelujah. Mama when everybody is turning to pastor, especially Kanye West too. I mean, he's going about now. So I'm not even surprised because he's been quoting Bible passages mm -hmm. and all that. But this kind of pastor though, I'm not judging him. The other time he was talking about, you know, his enemies and he said that, ah, He's not going to pray for his own enemies, yeah. so Which he's going to um, put uh, Psalm something, something. And you know that Jesus Christ said we should pray for our enemies. Mm. But this pastor, though, mm. who said that, is not going to pray uh, for his see, own enemies. See, there are some enemies that you don't pray for. You just going to read Psalm 27 for them. <laughs> he the already said, he said that he will read a Psalm. Perhaps it's that yeah. 27, yeah. right? Uh, he said see, so. if you read that Psalm, you'll know that uh, uh, God... God is not a confessionalist. But, 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 you know, he says you should love them. But then there are some parts of that Bible code that says, um, you know, when they were sad or when they were sick, I, I, I wore sackcloth, I did this, I did that. But now they want to mock me, they want to ridicule me, fight for those, you know. I so it's, it's literally Bible. about... Mm. Wow. What is wrong with you? I'm spiritual. You know, know that. <laughs> <laughs> but we're happy for him. I mean, this is a good thing. There's so many people that have been called and some of them are still struggling it. and fighting it and it's just it's just good when you get to that level where you feel like you know what god is god in you know in, 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 in it's about time to do this and let me just let go and but i'm just worried would he stop acting you know um can, mumaji can, can he do so after after Being a pastor and for me, is a lot of work though is I, a lot of work but you know that you can be a pastor without necessarily going on the pulpit and wearing the the collar like and the stuff. There are musician. some people that are that people call motivational online. speakers that are not even motivational speakers. They're just pastors there to speak and preach and Teach. help people. So everybody has different ways of, you know, so maybe it's not the cast and bind kind of pastor. Maybe he just has this calling to lead people. There are people that are called to lead at the I end just, of the day. I, I just imagine how him preaching would sound like you know he has deep voice. I love his voice, Children by the way. God, Some girls who up. attend that church. I will attend the church, yo. Yeah. The <laughs> These girls, you these girls, be warned. They no. will attend the church because of his voice. End time people everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but we're happy. I mean, we're happy for him. I mean, Arike said she will attend the church yes, because of the voice. voice. Is, uh, uh, all deep. Oh. Just leave it at the voice. So that is, God Sorry. bless you, Pastor. This was lost Hallelujah. Focus. <laughs> lost focus. Okay, let's move to the second story. And here, Whiskey wins Soul Train Award for Brown Skin Girl. Mm. Nigerian artist Whiskey has won the Ashford and Simpson Songwriters Award at the just concluded 2019 BET Soul Train Awards. He won this award alongside Beyonce and St. John for their collaborative single, Brown Skin Girl, which is of Beyonce's The Lion King, the gift album. Other winners are the event which held at the Orleans Arena in Las Vegas include Summer Walker, who won Best New Artist, Chris Brown featuring Drake with No Guidance, winning Song of the Year, Cardi B, Her, Khalid, Lizzo, and others. Congratulations mm, to the people. Amaz amazing one. I think um, the write-up I saw was um, Whiskey is the first African artist to win Windows. the Soul Train Award. Wow. And that's because of his collaboration with, with Beyonce. Beyonce so. But, but I, okay, we're happy for him. I'm just thinking, does this, does this put this, does this put this, does this put, make artists um, go on the pressure? I mean, does this put us, um, the, does this put artists under pressure to um, collaborate. Collaborate. Want, you know, collaborate with international um, artists no, no. now? Because everybody wants to be the first to do something. Hey, you really? Something? <laughs> and for me, honestly, I feel like this trend of, Bass Bo's music started with whiskey because <laughs> he just came with all that boy, but then he, he switched up and started giving us intoxicated, giving us all those jams. And people just felt like, you know, me so I can do wudu wudu to the answer. But now that he's won it, is it like, oh, now I need to look for someone to collaborate, collaborate with, with so that I win this thing? 
Because it's another I level of PR, I'm yes, thinking. Yes, it's yes, another yeah, level yeah. of PR. Well, it's good to collaborate with international artists. It gives you that, like, That's it makes you vast and then. But I'm just thinking that being your lane, do your thing. If you're good, people will you. know you. They will notice you. They will still find you. It might take time, but mm. they will notice you. Absolutely, I agree with you. That's what I wanted you to hear. So yeah. please keep doing your thing. And Don't Niger be looking for necessary accolades. And, okay. and, and Nigerians on social media that keep coming for whiskey every time. Like whiskey will, when he wants to do international song, he will give them words, give them vibe, Limits. give them because this is a songwriter category, and there yes, there are know? lots of messages on this particular track. Mm -hmm. Then when you want to give us our own contest, Thank you just give you. us Joro, Joro, Thank Joro, Joro, Yes, Joro, Ugo Vina, you know, you remember, <laughs> I mean, Ugo Vina, your friend, was talking about this the other day, and we're just discussing, and we're talking about music and all of this. So, you know that Whiskey is so brilliant. It yeah, can it actually is. give us good music. Mm -hmm. But I wonder why, when he wants to draw, isn't that he's taking us for granted? No, no let because, me because tell you, it's up. because you people like bass 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 bass. Because the people that are singing, Proper music, you know, that music. sitting you know, at the, you know, uh, at the piano yes, playing no. and giving you, you guys good music. Shows. You don't call them for shows. I clutch my chest. <laughs> okay. What is the truth, though? <laughs> oh, wow. I feel like Johnny Drew, yes. Adekule Goda, the only ones engine. trying to set that this thing. But even at that, you can't put Adekule Goda and Whiskey on the yeah. same level because, I it's mean, not it's not bass bows. So that's why they give you oh, that content. Move your hand from your chest. Sister, only sorry. Okay, yes, let's just <laughs> move on. Ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Monique sues Netflix for racial and gender discrimination. Oh, wow. Yes, award winning actress and comedian Monique has filed a lawsuit against streaming giant Netflix, stating that they discriminated against her as a black woman. Hmm. According to the suit, which was filed at a Los Angeles Superior Court, Monique is claiming the streaming platform offered her significantly less money for a comedy special in comparison to a fellow male and white comedians. She mm -hmm. took to her Instagram page to confirm the lawsuit, saying, and I quote, Hi, my loves. I can confirm that today I filed a pay discrimination lawsuit against Netflix. I had the choice to make. I could accept what I felt was pay discrimination, or I could stand up for those who came before me and those who will come after me. I choose to stand up. I don't have any further comments this time, but I appreciate all your love and support, end quote. If you would recall last year, Monique called for a boycott mm. against Netflix for allegedly offering her $500,000 for a comedy special, an offer she claimed was 26 times lesser than what they were offering another female comedian, Amy Schumer. Mm. So uh, Monique and this drama, which has gotten a whole lot of people to block her, I remember when she was on Steve Abby's show, it was, it was a heated argument between them both. Um, they telling her that she's going about all of this issue the wrong, the wrong way. Mm -hmm. You don't fight. At first, she just said, everybody, come out and let's, um, let's block Netflix. Mm -hmm. Let's block Netflix. And she didn't even explain why. Okay. First, that was where Steve, Steve Abby was angry with her um, about. And she was now calling other um, comedians and producers, film producers, like black producers, that why can't you guys come out and support me? I'm speaking everybody's mind, <laughs> but you people are just there sitting and chilling when you know what all what well, we are facing. I, in situations the racial like, card came in. Yeah, in situations like this, I feel like, first of all, we've established the fact that she's going about it the wrong way. Um, if, you, if people want to support you, they will come out to support you. You don't have to call them out to support you. And um, in all honesty, if you don't have... Um, okay, so they're paying someone else higher than higher they're than paying you. Getting. I don't think that it's a big deal or it has anything to do with Race. gender discrimination or, you know, they're being racist or whatever. That's my own honest opinion because if you call Onipo for a show and you call me for a show, the money they will pay Onipo obviously will be generous. Yeah, like, okay. It doesn't mean that I'm lesser or mm -hmm. she's lesser. It has nothing to but do with that. But 26 times it's just, lesser. See, bro. That's a lot. If that's what they can afford, it's, if it's a good offer for you, you take it. If it's not a good offer for you, you turn it down. There are so many times that I've been called for jobs and I know that they are paying other people way like more than what they were offering me. But I'm not going to say, oh, guys, come out. This, this uh, brand called me for this job and now they are paying the next person. No, it has nothing to do with that. As Onipo has said, keep doing your work when you get to that level whether you're dark whether you're black or whether you're um, a woman or not if you you get there you earn it that's it basically that's okay, nothing so to do with it. Monique's issue Monique is somebody I really really like I like her too but I like our works I like our jokes I like our, I mean I, I really adore her but really I know she's paint I know she has the right to go about it like, oh, I'm going to, uh, you know, boycott and um, sue and mm -hmm. do this and do that. But, you know, there is this thing about human relationship. Mm. 
I have watched this, the Vavi stuff you talked about. You and she was even that. talking about Oprah at, the, at that point. Mm -hmm. And Steve Harvey was trying to appeal to her to calm down. I'm that is, you're going through, you're going, uh, you know, over this thing in, in the, the wrong very way. Wrong, wrong way. Why don't you just calm down? So it's almost like everybody is now um, withdrawing, from her. withdrawing from her. As you said, you're blocking her. So I understand. I understand that she's hurt. She's deeply hurt. Mm. But somehow, and you know how, um, you know how I talk about it, that when somebody is popular and another person is not popular and they bring their case out, some, somehow people just follow the person yes, that is popular. popular. Yeah. They just don't want to listen to you. And I, I know it hurts so much. But I think that in this life, we have to balance things. things yeah. Yes, there are things that will hurt you, but you have to balance things. I know that she's fighting for people. And if she actually wins this, I know that a lot of people will come and line oh, up, exactly. you know, behind <laughs> her and say that, oh, this, that, that. But, wow, Monique. We love you. She should just go about it the right way. I love you still. Well, she's, she isn't the only one fighting for this pay gap. There are other people, but they are just keeping quiet. But Monique is the one. Ginger, ginger. And you know ginger. that life is very funny. People are very funny. They will not speak out. They will be... And somebody has to take... And at the end of the day... Somebody has to take the lead. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> this, this life is just rice and beans. <laughs> yes, we are done with the entertainment news.